celebrate Thanksgiving, we are reminded that God gave his only begotten son today, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life, and so we give thanks for that. he's given Jesus Christ his son give thanks with a grateful heart give thanks to the Holy One give thanks because he's given Jesus Christ his son Say I am strong, let the poor say I am rich, because of what the Lord has done for us. And now, let the weak say I am strong, let the poor say I am He's given Jesus Christ, His Son. Give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks to the 
Holy One gives thanks because He's given Jesus Christ His Son. Praise the Lord. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Shiloh. Good morning, Shiloh Cyber Sanctuary. To all of our virtual viewers, to all of our members, families, and friends, God bless you. This is the day the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hey, y'all, it is Thanksgiving. Hallelujah. Somebody ought to just bless the Lord right where you are. We thank the Lord for this most special day, and we thank God for getting us to this holiday in this holiday season. On behalf of my wife, Minister Constance Cheeks, and our son, Nicholas Micah Cheeks, we want to extend a heartfelt and sincere uh, happy Thanksgiving to each and every one of you. We are extending virtual hugs to you all right now. Hallelujah. We thank God for this privileged opportunity to gather together over the internet, uh, streaming live even now. We are grateful for this moment of sharing. Although this is the holiday where many will take the moment and opportunity to give thanks for the believers of the Lord Jesus Christ, thanksgiving is a lifestyle. The Bible says in Psalm 107 verse 1 to give thanks to the Lord for he is good. The Lord is good and has been good well beyond the month of November. Nevertheless, we will all join together across this nation, in this land, and bless the name of the Lord together. As difficult as this year has been, 
as painful, as disheartening, as discouraging, and even depressing as this year has been, there I believe in my spirit that there is still something to be thankful for. There is something to be thankful for. You, you, you still have something much to be thankful for. Yes, I, I know it's sad to say that some loved ones are no longer with us. Yet, yes, I understand that there's an empty chair at the table. Yes, I am deeply saddened by the fact that well over 260,000 people have succumbed to COVID-19, but, but it will not prevent us from expressing our thanks to God. For what? For blessing us with the experiences of life through those that we've shared who are no longer here. God has blessed each and every one of us through the experiences of life through our loved ones, and that is still something to be thankful for. Each and every one of us ought to give thanks for the loved ones who are no longer here, for the memories they've given to us and shared with us that we can reflect on right now, the good times and the times we laughed, the times we cried, and all the times that we just shared together. We can thank God for our family members, our friends, our, our extended family, our church family, our neighbors, neighborhood, those who are co-workers. We can thank God for even those who've been on the front line, who've been serving in the hospitals day in and day, day, day in and day out, who've even sacrificed their own lives to help those that we love who may have been under their care. We thank God today for all of those he has so richly blessed our lives through, and we are thankful to God for using us to be a blessing to somebody else. Yes, this is a season of thanksgiving, but for the believer of the Lord Jesus Christ, thanksgiving is a lifestyle, and we give thanks every day. Somebody ought to comment and say, we give thanks daily. We thank God for waking up. We thank God for watching over us as we slept and slumber. We thank God for putting a roof over our head. We thank God for putting food on our table. We thank God for putting clothes on our back. We thank God for giving us a reasonable portion of our health and strength and a right mind. Thank you, God, each and every day. We don't have to wait till November to give thanks. We don't have to wait till this season to have Thanksgiving. No, we give thanks to the Lord because he is good and he has been good to each and every one of us no matter what it is that we can struggle through no matter what it is that we can stumble through no matter what it is we can still survive through God has been good and he is good and that's what we come to do today what we've been doing every day is to give thanks. Somebody ought to shout right there. Hallelujah. Go ahead and comment. The Lord is good. He's worthy to be praised. And you ought to tell somebody, even as you're commenting, I thank God for you. I thank God for you. I thank God for you too. Hallelujah. The Lord is good. Thanksgiving is a lifestyle. David said, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth because Thanksgiving is a lifestyle. It is who I am. I will give thanks to God and I will give thanks thanks to even those he uses in my life to make my life better. Thank you for each and every one of you. Thank you, God, for knowing exactly who to use and when to use them and how to get me to where I need to be and become who you've created me to be. I thank you, God. This is the season of thanks. This is the day of thanksgiving. And for the believer, it is our lifestyle to give thanks. Hallelujah. So not only we come today to give thanks virtually and to share together on the internet and to have Thanksgiving moment together with the Lord Jesus Christ and as the body of Christ. But before we go to our tables today, the Lord has called us together to come to his table, to share with him and to sup with him, to commune with him. And I'm indeed grateful for this privileged opportunity that we all have to share today. And so let us go to the Lord's table together before we get to our tables. And let me say this, and before you gather together with your family members, before you even make those plans or hit out, or if you're already there, please, I pray you hear my heart. Make sure you do what's necessary to keep one another safe, to keep you all healthy, on the necessary precautions to prevent COVID-19 within your own household. I'm praying right now with the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ would cover you and keep each and every one of you. Make sure you do what's necessary to wear the appropriate mask, to make, the, make sure you're keeping 
appropriate distance and space. And even as you're sharing and as you're sharing in the meal, put your mask back on after you finish eating and do what's necessary. If you're extending hospitality or you're entering to a place of hospitality, make sure you wash your hands and do what everything that's necessary to make sure that we just don't make a sacrifice for a meal and miss out on the next on the next holiday. We don't want to we want to get through this holiday to make it to the next holiday. Amen. We'll make it to the next season, make it to the next year, the next month, the next day. We want to do what's necessary to get through this together. And so make sure you take those necessary precautions, even while you're sharing with family members and friends. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. I greatly appreciate that. We care for each and every one of you. We want to see y'all beyond this pandemic. And so before we go to our tables, let's go to the Lord's table. On the night that the Lord supped, he took bread and broke it. He said, this is my body. This is for you. I want you to do this in remembrance of me. Let's do as they did on that night. <clears throat> Amen. In the like same manner, he took the cup after they sup he said this is the new covenant in my blood this is the new testament this is for you i want you to do this in remembrance of me let us do as they did on that night <clears throat> amen praise the lord hallelujah to God be the glory. We thank you, Jesus, for this privileged opportunity to share together or virtually to have communion on Thanksgiving Day. Before we share with our family members, God, we made it a priority to share with you and to give you thanks. God, thank you for so many things. More importantly, we thank you for the simple fact that you are good. In spite of all the things that are happening in this, this evil and most this most evil and dying world, God, you are still good and we thank you we thank you for this moment we ask god now that we've shared in these symbols of your son the lord jesus christ's body and his shed blood i pray god that we feel healing we feel strength we feel your presence give us what we stand in need of even now of sharing together at your table and then god i pray for even more strength that as we share with the table that is prepared for our family. God, I thank you and ask that even now you continue to watch over the entire membership of Shallow Baptist Church, all of those who are connected to us via family, friends, virtually, God, near and far. I ask, Lord, that you continue to uh, overtake us with your favor, permeate us with your presence and allow it to exude from our living and our lifestyle that others will know that Thanksgiving is more than just the end of the month of November, that it's for the believer each and every day. So I thank you, Father, for what has transpired on this day through this service over the Internet, through this virtual stream. I ask your continued blessings for each and every viewer and all of us who make up that awesome body of the Lord Jesus Christ called Shiloh. It's in the name of Jesus the Christ we pray. And we all said, Amen. And I want to say this really quickly, even to those before we give benediction and close out this service, that we are also play, praying for those um, who've returned home from the hospital, those who are in the hospital. Also praying for those who are certainly indeed during the holiday seasons is difficult for them to bear getting through grief and mourning as we all are uh, who are in the season of bereavement. I want to let you know that we're praying for each and every one of you, even in this time of season, you are not forgotten. And so we also ask the Lord's strength and presence that he would wrap his arms around you, that his countenance would be there around you, that you would feel his presence and even feel his peace to even get through not only this day, but the next holiday to come, that God will allow you to be filled with joy, to be mindful and, and remember and in remembrance of those loved ones who've gone on to be with him, to spend time with other family members reflecting on their lives. So may the Lord fill you, may the Lord bless you. And to each and every one of you, I ask that even you take this opportunity to reach out to those who you know who's lost a loved one. During this holiday season, those who are lonely, let them know they're not alone. They may feel lonely, but they're not alone. Now we got your back. More importantly, Jesus is with you and he will get you through this. Again, on behalf of the Cheeks family, we love you, Shiloh. Each and every member, God bless you. To all the senior leaders, to associate ministers, to everybody who makes up this mighty congregation, awesome congregation of Shiloh, McLean, Virginia, Audrick's Corner. God bless you. We love you. Until we meet again, y'all, keep serving the Lord and keep loving as much as the Lord loves you, love somebody else. God bless you. 
and now for our benediction. Father, we thank you for this uh, most privileged opportunity to share and to sup with you on this most special day. God, as we close today, I just want to ask that your presence, that your power, your strength would do a work on behalf of those who are less fortunate than each and every one of us who are viewing here today. All of us who have opportunity to share in a meal with our loved ones together, I pray God with those who are out there who are suffering, who are without homes, who are suffering from homelessness. God, in the name of Jesus, I pray you open up a new door for them of opportunity, of employment, a gainful employment. In the name of Jesus, God, I pray for their health. I pray for their mental stability. I pray, God, that you begin to turn their situation right side up. In this Thanksgiving season, God, work a miracle and use us, God, to be a blessing. Let us not just make this season about us, but God, let us be mindful of those who are without or who are less fortunate than us. So we thank you for that. And we thank you, God, that we can be a blessing for somebody else just as you sent one to be a blessing to us. God, we come to worship. We come to sharing communion, communion with you and with one another. And now we leave this service to serve. God, we leave this place, but never your presence. Watch over us and keep us in the only name that matters. In the name of the Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ, we pray. And we all said, amen. God bless y'all. See you Sunday morning. Love you. And happy Thanksgiving. Go Ravens. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Come on, let's just give the Lord a blessing. Yes, sir. Yeah. You want some milk? Okay.